I'm Frank. And I'm Anthony. And we're with Rodeo Rewind, bringing you another episode because we're really getting in the roll, oh, getting yeah. on the road, hitting the 2023 rodeo season. What's our topic today? Our topic today is just talking about like things and tips you need to bring to your next rodeo. So it's kind of like our uh, Christmas one, but we have 16 today. Yeah. My first one is bring cash and a credit card, but bring cash because some of the vendors may only take cash and you want to be ready to do a little negotiating. We negotiated. We Please. really like these fleeces, right? Yeah. And I think Anthony was going to get one and I wasn't going to get one, but then we said, hey, if we buy two, can we get a better price? And what did the lady say? Oh. The lady we were talking to said, yeah, you can get a better price if you buy two. If we bought two. So that's my first one. Yeah, you know, my first one, if the rodeo is a general admission rodeo, which most local rodeos are, um, arrive early to get the best seats possible. Yes, arrive early. Get those good seats. My next one, it has to do with, like, the phone situation. One, you are going to see things if you've never been that you are really going to want to take pictures of. You're going to want to get pictures with your friends and your family, but bring extra battery power oh, yeah. packs. Cause... So, because when your battery run, runs down, everybody's going to want to freshen up their battery. So, bring battery packs. And you also want to make sure, besides getting pictures with each other, you need to get a picture with one and of the cowboys or cowgirls. Most of them are pretty open to that. They're really awesome. And Especially with, like, uh, the smaller scale local ones, you'll hear local and small rodeo be used simultaneously. But, um, so, at the local rodeos, you can see them walking around and stuff, just checking out the fair if they've never been there before. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. And then, so, my next one. Bring a raincoat in a bag or stop at the dollar store on your way there. Get some ponchos. They're pretty cheap there. It's a good and deal. And you don't want a little rain to ruin your day. That's no fun. All right, my next one is to walk around the entire fair before you decide what you're going to eat or what you might want to buy and bring home to remember that great day by. Because you don't know. Maybe you're going to all go to one place to eat. Maybe we're going to get a bunch of things and share them. But know before you buy. Yeah, and so back to the... Back to the talking about general admission seats if there are bleacher seats you're going to want to get to your seats early if it's general admission or purchase those ones up at the top if it's a larger scale rodeo yep and they have individualized tickets and what, what's because that top row benefit that top row like has some back support and it's very nice i don't know if you hear that Air Force Base by us has got a, we just had a refueler fly over. All right, my next one, be friendly to the people around you because they're usually pretty awesome. And if you don't understand something, ask questions. Somebody's going to be able to tell you what's happening. Oh, yeah. And then you're going to want to take a picture of the day sheet. And you what is the day sheet, Anthony, if so people don't know? If people don't know, the day sheet is a list of all the cowboys and it's normally like has a slot for time mm -hmm. if and then or score if it's a rough stock event and it will have like all the rough stock there yep and it'll have like all the judges mm -hmm. and commentators and things so but, we liked it <laughs> but yeah and so take a photo of that that is normally where can you find that uh a lot of times it'd be wherever the announcer is and the rodeo secretary um, they'll be on the outside of that building or, or up against the fence. They'll have a board and they'll tape it on or staple it. Yeah. That's the place to go find that. Yeah, and you can find that there. And then what's your next one? My next one is to have ProRodeo.com or the PBR website, whatever kind of event you're at. Make sure you have that website on your phone so that you could be looking up athletes and know a little bit about the people you're watching that day. Yeah, and then so... Bring sun protection to those open air rodeos. Whether it's at the day or at night, UV rays still come down. What are we thinking? What are some of those things we want, we want to bring? We want you to be safe, so you want to bring sunscreen, a hat, and sunglasses. Those will protect you from the sun. All right. I am going to say 
to check out all the other things that are happening at the fair, right? Those kids who do 4-H, they work really hard. You should go check them out and see all the great things to do with their animals. Maybe there's a demolition derby. Nothing more fun than watching a couple cars drive into each other uh, or a concert or, or like a, a, a tractor Truck pull. pull. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's all good stuff. It's things to check out. And then think about going there in rodeo dress. Now, rodeo dress is a hat, um, jeans, and then a long sleeve shirt, which mm -hmm. we have under these, and then boots. And that is, there's no exception for temperature to that. If it's right. warm, you still have to wear that if you're going in rodeo dress. All right. Mine, I don't have on me, but I remember it. Consider buying a 50-50 raffle ticket because, one, you might win some money. Two, it's kind of exciting. And most important, you're going to probably help a local charity out. School. Yep, school, scholarship fund. So, yeah. Like a cult, there was, I think it was in Goshen, a rodeo team from right. upstate New York was going to the finals. And that and was a way for them to earn their money. Some money. To go there. And then my next one, stop by the information booth. You're going to need that. That's going to have a lot of information about the layout of the whole place. Yep. And all that. So, oh, so what's you, the most important one? You have one more, I believe. I don't have them. I'm out. Oh, so I have one more. Have fun. Have fun. Everybody's there. They probably have a great attitude. Like, just be there. Be ready to have fun. I agree. So, yeah. So, enjoy your time with your friends and your family. Get out. Hit the road this summer, even if it's just... To at, your local fair and rodeo. Yeah. Hit the fair scene. Everybody does so awesome. Check what people are doing. Support your, your local 4-H and FFA kids. And, and check out a rodeo. Yeah. And then, so we have an announcement for just the channel. Yeah. We are going to be changing our post dates. We are going to be changing our dates from Tuesday today to Wednesday tomorrow. Yep. And wh where are we heading? So next week, I believe, right? Next week? Next Friday. We next are Friday, leaving. we are leaving here, and we are heading down to Florida for... The Fort Myers the Fort, Pro Rodeo. Fort Myers Pro Rodeo. That's going to be our first yeah, that's going to outdoor be our event first of outdoor the season. Event of the season. We're going to hit some spring training, and we're going to have fun. See some roadside attractions. Right, so, right. We, so new content coming out: a rodeo, some baseball games, and some roadside attractions. So, yeah. not only rodeo but adventures. And yeah, maybe we're going to. Put, I think we're going to put in a restaurant. Maybe a couple. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a few restaurants. So yeah, keep it posted. We're going to probably be airing that stuff for the next month. Yeah. Right? And, and I don't know what we're doing next week. Right, yeah. So. Maybe PBR. Next week we'll probably have some new thing. But we will be in Fort Myers next week. We probably will have some stuff from Rodeo or a spring training game. Maybe a live feed or two. Right, yeah. But thank you. See you next week.